Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 15 properties in total. And I wanted to share with you this book, and it's called a room by room review book. And so, what it's designed to do is when you're, let's say, six months away from uh, selling your house, you know, there's there's a process involved. And one of the things is, uh, what should we do to get it ready in addition to what's it worth and and so on? You know, when's the best time to list and, and all these questions that people typically have. So we go through um, a checklist in the book. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. There's over 100 tips. I put this book together after looking at all the TV shows, which to me was torture because I do real estate my whole life. Now I got to go home and watch TV shows, going to model homes, uh, my own personal experience. And uh, so we came up with the book. And the last page, I think, is the one that's probably the most helpful is after we would go through a house is we would put all the fix ups into three categories, which is must do, could do and don't do. And nothing is a must do. But what we mean by that is that it's a big booster. So if you spend a dollar, we want you to make three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars from something like that. So what are the real leverage points? And then the don't do's. I wish so often when I go into a house that I had the opportunity to speak to someone earlier because uh, I feel like the opportunity to help them make more money on the house would have been there for sure. Um, you know, and, and a lot of times people are proud. Oh, I did this, I did that. And, you know, and, and I just sit there and say, it's probably not going to be worth what you spent. And that's a tough conversation to have. So before that happens, be careful, have us in. It takes about a half hour to do a room by room review. There's no cost to do that. And all I'd ask in return for coming over and, and investing that time with you is when it is time to sell, that we're just one of the people that you sit down and have a chance to, uh, to speak with. That's the only thing we'd ever ask in return. Uh, so if that sounds like something that would be helpful for you, just give me a call or send me an email and let's get started with today's list. So 1025 Nadlin Heights is 369.9. I have mixed feelings about this one because when you look at this one on paper, it's very, very good value on paper in the sense that 369, I just sold the same model with hardwood floors um, and tenants inside in the 390s, high 390s. So we know that this one's being sold uh, potentially at, at a bit of a discount. Now, the thing about Nadlin, we also see this at 6020 Dairy too, is that it has about $100, a little bit more than $100 a month in garbage removal and snow removal on the street, which is something you're gonna get anyway. So it's called a parcel of Tideland. It is it is a condo, but here's the thing, the house itself is a freehold house. The road it's attached to is, uh, is a condo and it requires maintenance fees. So here's the bottom line. On a mortgage, if you had a $50 a month payment, that translates into about a $10,000 purchase price. Right, so for every ten thousand dollars you go up or down, your payments change by about fifty dollars. So if you have this hundred dollar fee, that really, uh, my opinion at least, doesn't add a lot of value to the house. That would be like paying three eighty nine for this house. A hundred dollars a month would be as if you had a zero condo fee and you paid three eighty nine. So it still looks reasonably good on paper, but I think that sometimes people don't think about that. Oh, it's just a hundred dollars a month. It's not, it, it matters, right? So this price point is going to attract a lot of attention. I, I might even think that they'd sell for more. And uh, so, so what I'm trying to say is most buyers, I think don't properly consider that $100 a month fee as like, what can I do with that if I rolled it into a mortgage? So 1088 Clark Boulevard is 564.9. And so the thing usually with, with these ones on Clark, I don't recall, I, I didn't think they made the four bedroom uh, Poddington's, the Shady Glens uh, in this phase, but I guess they do because it's a four bedroom. It definitely looks like a, uh, a Shady Glen, which would mean it's just over 2000 square feet. Um, it kind of looks like that. So I've got to believe it is. And you know, that's, We've seen this layout go for much higher, but it's had more upgrades. I don't know, Clark can be a busier street. 
I think anything over 2,000 square feet at this price point is good, but you have to, a vacant house is very tough to sell. We talk about a room by room review. It's almost guaranteed with a vacant house that you have to paint it fresh because when it's vacant, you, you see every flaw, you see every scratch on the wall, you see every imperfection. So it's very important to, uh, to, to make it as if it came right off the builder lot, if possible. Now, obviously there's some wear and tear on the floors, but the closer you get it to move in ready and no flaws, the more successful you're gonna be with a vacant house. Now this one on Ellis is 579. I've I've been in this home before. It was for sale I think last year. They haven't owned it very long. Uh, it doesn't look like they've done a lot of work to this home. Uh, the counter really doesn't look very good in person. Uh, it's got nine foot ceilings on the main floor, and the same as the last listing. They don't show the best feature of this home, which is it has a 117 foot lot, which is old Milton size. I mean, even the, the premium streets, Gowland and stuff like that, they're all 115 foot lots. So uh, they're wider. But the point is, is that this is probably 30 feet extra beyond what you get with most Madame homes. Uh, and it also backs onto a field It backs onto the Bishop Redding uh, field. And so like, why not put that in? Anyway, 579, they paid a lot less than that when uh, it was listed before. Probably not the best layout. There's definitely some work to do. They might have just bought this and then rented it out for a year. They're not gonna lose money on it, that's for sure. I mean, nobody really is when you look at last year compared to this year. Um, it, someone's probably gonna come in and feel like it needs some work. This is probably the high side of what I'd, I'd feel comfortable listing it for. Higginbotham is the 10th property in the list, 6749. Uh, it's in the Wilmot neighborhood. It is a plan seven. And so 2436 square feet, they say approximately 2,500. I don't know, it depends how much you want to round up. To me, that's a lot closer to 2,400 than 25. Nice high faucet. That's one of those things that if you're doing the rest of the home, make sure you have a nice faucet and nice light fixtures. It makes a huge difference. And when we talk about the room by room review, the, the kitchen is the most important room in the whole house. Now, I'm not sure about these handles, but they may look better in person. Upgraded countertops. This is a model that has kind of grown on me over the years because originally I didn't like it. I felt like there was a lot of walls and a lot of things that were kind of blocking the flow of this house. And you've got a family room, a living room, and a dining room, and they're all separate and they're all cut up uh, in different areas. But I've started to see that this could be a good home office uh, and a family room, although you're gonna hear the noise through the wall here and, uh, and then having the separate dining area. The other thing is it's tricky to find a table that's going to fit at the right scale inside of this kitchen. So you just gotta kind of think through this model a little bit. Um, you know, we have seen this model go for over seven, but it's always had green space behind. Uh, the other thing that I think would impact someone's decision is right beside this home. So here's 211. Here's Higginbotham, which by the way is an awesome street name. It's right beside Bronte, so you are going to get road noise, like mega road noise. And so if you want a quiet, it's a, it's a great crescent, like very low traffic. Your kids can play out uh, on their bikes or hockey and stuff like that, but the noise level is going to be high for being beside a busy road. Now we've talked about this one on Mara Circle before, 819.9 is the price. It's a Tothberg, it's a great model, 3331 square feet. If you have a buyer moving up, what you're gonna find is that they get very feature focused. And so unfortunately this home is a little bit more basic. It's a really tough interior to sell because it's it very little improvements from the builder. So I could see someone coming in here and and counting up in their mind at least $100,000 that they'd wanna spend. Unfortunately, that's the way things work in this price range. They like nice. Now, this is the one uh, competitive difference that they do have, which is a good thing. So even if someone doesn't like the inside of the home, they've got the pool. 
And the nice thing about that is that you could reno a kitchen or put floors in. And when you talk about the room by room, it's a much higher return to do those kind of things. Kitchens, bathrooms, flooring, paint, and details are the big five upgrades. Now, a seller who puts a pool in for, let's just say $50,000. Now you can go up from there for sure but the return on investment on something like that is very, very low. So I would rather the seller take the hit on value versus me putting 50,000 in and only increasing my property value by a little bit. So that's one of the considerations here is it's probably better to have the pool in place and then use some of that buffer getting the pool at a discount to maybe do some of your inside finishes. Next up is Holloway Terrace, 969. And so, um, the thing about this one they tried over a million didn't work and uh we've talked about this many times the thing as you progress past eight hundred thousand dollars there are some really nice choices right now and uh, they're all different so mara circle you could turn mara circle into something like this completely different neighborhoods uh, and feelings once you kind of drive down the streets but nice house here um You've got a walkout finished basement, which can be a nice thing, especially when you've got the pool there. Uh, great for kids' parties and things like that. Now, the uh, the privacy is something that becomes very important for people past, even past 800, but especially past 900. That's what we're seeing. Is that's the most important thing for people who are willing to write a check for that amount. Um, so I don't know. Like, would you would you want these homes that are really you know on 90 foot lots would you want them that close to you as you're hanging out in the pool i think most people when they're swimming in the pool want to know that hey this is my territory no one's really you know got their eyes on me kind of thing so anyway the um you know the marketing looks good uh it's got a nice amount of size and uh, and they have spent a lot of money on this home so this definitely seems to be the day for pools um this one on cusick is I don't think they've got a shot. They keep listing this one around 1.1. It offers not really a lot of competitive advantage over Holloway. So it's 500 square feet smaller. It has a finished basement like Holloway and it's got a pool. So why would I pay, you know, over $100,000 more for something like this? It doesn't make sense. Cusick is a nice street. Um, again, nice finishes in the backyard, a little bit more trees but it still backs onto another house it's a little deeper it's about a 10 foot deeper lot um, I find that people looking over a million they're going to want a bigger kitchen and that's just the difference between a 3,000 3,500 square foot home uh, I think the pictures could probably use a bit of an upgrade they used the same pictures last time and uh, beautiful house just I, I just don't see someone writing a check for seven figures for it so there we go, that's the list. Room by room review. Just email or call us if you think that would be helpful for you and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.